Namaste, Tina Thrussell here with the Shin Dao, the way of the heart. Much to report. I'm very far behind on my 30-day declutter challenge. Yes, it's still happening for those who have tuned in previously. The challenge is to remove items from your home to create more space in your life. Day one, why not item? Day two, do day two, two items, day three, three items, four, all the way up to day 30. So by the time you get to that point, it's uh, I think more than 500 items that you remove from your home, which creates an amazing amount of space for new things to come into your life. Thank you. So that could be a mood shifter in itself, this act of decluttering, bringing more space into your life for other people's circumstances and maybe other things. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm loving all the hearts. Love you. Mm, thank you. Um, the other update is Stampede. I survived yesterday. I am feeling quite tired today. Uh, I can't remember the last time I spent nine hours walking around on pavement. My body is letting me know I spent nine hours walking around on pavement yesterday, um, but it really was fun. I enjoyed it. And oh my goodness, Calgary should be so proud of our Calgary Stampede Show Band. They are amazing to watch and to listen to. Quite the showmen, quite the musicians. Impressive. If you've, if you've never checked that out, get down to Stampede and, and have a listen. I think it was about 8.30 performance last night. Lovely, lovely. Anyway, today's magic mood shifters. For those of you who've been tuning in on Wednesdays, it's the day that I pull a magic mood shifter card from my magic box of mood shifters. This is intended as a little pick-me-up in your day. So it's also intended as a way to practice using your intuition. So you ask the question, what is the tool that will be most beneficial for me today? Or something along those lines. In this case, it might be, what is the tool that will benefit the greatest number of viewers who are watching this video today? And if you're watching, I invite you to share it on your wall so that others get to benefit from the Magic Mood Shifter. So inside our, uh, a box, inside this box are 20 cards rented lips this morning, and um, we're being guided to pull out one card that will be a tool that we can utilize to give us a little uplift. Oh, today the card is Color Me. So what I did was drew a bunch of circles on this card with some little hearts in them, and it's just an exercise of sitting down and coloring this image. Now. You could draw any image you like and just take a couple of minutes to color. It's lovely to add some uh, quiet, soothing music in the background and just lose yourself in the act of coloring. There, science and psychology is really behind this as a mindfulness tool, as a way of calming the body, calming the mind. Uh, <laughs> color me, I love it, Sandy says. Um, <clears throat> it really is effective. And it doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman, a child or an adult. Coloring has a certain appeal to the soul. So go ahead and if you don't have a coloring book per se, I have several of them, I love coloring, um, then just doodle something. Create an image like this. Whoopee, sorry. So, just a series of circles all connected with uh, little hearts drawn into some of the circles. You could make the other circles into happy faces or whatever you want. And just color away and be with it. So that's today's Magic Mood Shifter. Stay tuned next Wednesday when we will have another Magic Mood Shifter for you. If you would like your own box of mood shifting tools, you can acquire that at shindao.com. If you go to the store tab, uh, look under products, there you'll find the magic bag of mood shifters is a little organza bag, or I custom make these boxes for you. So uh, in which case, call me and we'll talk about what colors, what patterns, what you'd like. 
Anyway, I wish you a wonderful Wednesday and look forward to connecting on the next Facebook Live. If you feel called to, share this video, make some comments below, love hearing from you. And, <clears throat> oh cool, Sandy buying craft paint today to color rocks for the garden. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful thing to do. And I might add, you might like to also get a can of Vera Thaner varnish and cover them because the, we the weather does uh, wear away the paint um, over a season if you don't varnish them. I actually painted one of our, uh, my dad had a water fountain and it was uh, willed to me and it's a uh, a bunch of birds sitting on a tree trunk wrapped around. And anyway, I decided to give it some color and I, I, I painted the birds and the leaves on the stump and um, it, it was really lovely for a few years. Um, even with the varnish, eventually the weather takes its toll. Well, I don't pull it in in the winter, so it has to weather the snow and the rain and the hail and all of those things. Um, but. Putting that coat of varnish on is going to help your rocks stay longer. Vera thing. Yes, it is a great idea. Go out and do it. Have some fun, Sandy, and everyone else who is looking at coloring today. Love you. Thanks for tuning in. Mwah. Namaste.